So stump microphones, you know, I, I rely very heavily on, on the stump microphones, you know, so you can tell uh, who the bowlers are when they get to the crease. And equally when, when somebody's batting as well, you know, the way the ball is hit, like when reverse sweeps are played, sometimes you'll hear the bat hit the ground when reverse sweeps are being played when a ball is hit through the offside. There's definitely more of a sharp crack as the ball comes off the bat. And then when a ball is hit through the leg side um, as well. But, you know, also to, to, to be honest, I've been listening to this game very closely since 1991. And I've been, I've been involved with the game from a media perspective since 2001. So that's a very long time, 31 years of listening to it and, and 21 years of, uh, in some capacity, working on the game as well you know so when you put that all together it all culminates in yeah very much so uh so from a bangladeshi result perspective uh, i mean there's a couple of games that will always spring to mind i i will never forget the first win by bangladesh against south africa in the 2007 icc uh well, one day international world cup Mohammed Ashraful playing so very well there um, Bangladesh's first win over South Africa just over a year ago in South Africa. That was very, very good. Um, and, and the thing is that, you know, they have very resourceful players, uh, have Bangladesh. You know, it, to a certain extent, they've been a bit like Zimbabwe, where they've had a couple of decent players, but then they've always had one or two players who tower head and shoulders above the rest. You know, Shaki Balasan and Tamim Iqbal are, are, are two to mention, but Habibul Bashar was one of my favorite batters as well. He was very consistent and a Magnificent stroke maker as well. Um, and then, of course, Mohammed Sharif, the left arm seamer, was, was very useful on his day as well. So, and, you know, Tala Zubair, the youngster who, who made his debut against South Africa back in 2002 when he was only 14. Unfortunately, we never really saw the best of him. But, you know, the fact that a 14 year old went to Bloemfontein and, and made his debut against what was a, a very, very strong South African batting lineup and, and acquitted himself very nicely was, was very pleasing to remember. From a, from a, a batting perspective, you obviously so again remember what we spoke to earlier. What, what we spoke about earlier on the stump microphones have a very important part to play. So, you know, for example, you listen very carefully to the to the way certain batters say yes, wait, no. You know, like for example, when Marcus Treskothic used to hit the ball, um, he would never say yes. He just used to say run. So you knew that that, that was Marcus Treskothic. Um, we have, a, we have a batter by the name of Prince Mashaure. Whenever he hits the ball, he always says, wait on, in a very high-pitched voice. So you know that that is Prince Mashaure, uh, one of the nicest gentlemen that you could ever meet. Um, and and certain, critics, certain batsmen, when they hit the ball through the leg side, you know, like Kevin Peterson, for example, um, when, when you hit the ball playing, whether it was the slog sweep, the hook shot, the pull shot, obviously that all goes into the leg side. And he would give a bit of a grunt when, when he hit that particular ball because more than likely you are imparting a bit more power as opposed to timing the ball through the covers. You know, so uh, that's pretty much how I do it. But in regards to whether it's Irvin, Algar, um, again, listen very... I mean, obviously, you, you listen to the way that they speak. And, of course, when they do go out there to bat, then you remember what their voices sound like just as much as a sighted person remembers what a person looks like. So... You know, and then you just listen very carefully to their voices. That's a very good point that you ask. I've, I've haven't really picked, I haven't really discerned any Bangladeshi batsman. But what I very much used to remember was a fast bowler by the name of Shahadat Hussein. Yeah, he sounded like Monica Seles, <laughs> uh, the tennis player, when he used to run in and bowl. He made a lot of noise. And, and, you know, it was very easy to, to pick him up and to say, yeah, there's Shahadat Hussein. Well, it depends, you know, um, like when he was at Lord's, it used to be a very loud, like, like a shout. But then, the, obviously, the Lord's officials got him to stop that. So then he, he used to almost like, a, you know, like a, almost sounded like a caged tiger. When, when he used to run in and bowl. So uh, that's how you knew that that's a shout out to saying. But I mean, obviously, I think once I, I get into the, I mean, I'm not going to be in the commentary box for this series.
Um, I do, to, uh, you know, because obviously for me that's very important because I don't have access to seeing them. So that's not always possible, though, um, unless, for example, a certain player has been involved with a series before, uh, you know, if they've been involved with a bilateral series before they got to Zimbabwe, then, of course, I can do that. But if they've picked a player um, to, to specifically come on the tour to Zimbabwe, then that is a bit tricky. And then the only way that I'll learn and get to understand who the player is is obviously listening to them when I'm in the commentary box. I mean, obviously, I was born, born blind with tumors behind both my retinas. So uh, I was only given three to five months to live, but I'm 45 not out and, and still stroking the ball nicely. Yeah. But uh, the hearing problems, I think it actually started to become a problem about 10 years ago, but I didn't really, perhaps maybe I chose not to realize or acknowledge that there was a problem. But it really became very problematic, I would say, in about 2015 or 2016. Uh, so in November last year, some very kind uh, f friends who live in Australia were kind enough to sponsor me with hearing aids. Um, and, you know, hopefully now I'll be able to hear much better.